They were once one of Chicago's power couples, their political careers derailed by scandal and prison. Tonight, former Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. and former 7th Ward Alderman Sandy Jackson are ending their marriage. CBS 2's Jim Williams reports the former congressman filed for divorce while his wife was still behind bars. Step back, step back. Throughout their legal troubles, knowing they were both headed to prison, Jesse Jackson Jr. and Sandy Jackson presented a united front walking through dozens of reporters and cameras holding hands. Convicted of misusing $750,000 in campaign funds, the former congressman went to prison first. I'm sorry I let everybody down. Can you say you're sorry you let everybody down? I'm sorry I let everybody down. The former alderman, convicted on a tax charge, followed him to the penitentiary. Their time in prison staggered so one parent could be with their children. According to court documents, Jesse Jackson Jr. filed for a certificate of dissolution of marriage Monday, but actually began divorce proceedings in July while his wife was still in prison. He cited irreconcilable differences. The Jacksons have been married 25 years. In happier times, when Sandy Jackson was sworn in as 7th Ward Alderman, she and her husband had a playful moment at City Hall. Congratulations, honey. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, honey. Oh, geez. Enjoy Mike, Mike and oh, enjoy. honey, right, wait, the honey, the don't leave me. Oh, oh, my gosh. Years later, she described the couple's mounting legal troubles. It would be hard for any family to go through what we've gone through publicly. And so there may have been times when I was overcome with exhaustion. I was overwhelmed. Andy Jackson was released from prison in October after a one-year sentence. In the court document, Jesse Jackson Jr. is asking that the couple's children, 16 and 12, live with him. We were unable to reach the Jacksons tonight. Live in the newsroom, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. All right, Jim, thank you.